Hi, this is Mike with Actifio. Today is part one of a three-part series on how Actifio helps solve the copy data problem. If you're like most, you've heard of copy data and the copy data problem, and you may have heard or read some of Actifio's marketing materials or analyst reviews. And I get the question a lot, Mike, how does Actifio do all those things that I've heard about to manage copy data? This three-part series is going to explore in depth how exactly we do this. Starting with part one, let's explore what is copy data. So undoubtedly, you've heard of the storage explosion, where we have an exponential growth of storage consumption in data centers today. So far, this storage explosion has been addressed by the industry through technology and economics. Bigger hard drives, cheaper hard drives, faster products. Um, the problem with this is, it's a little bit of a rat race between what's going to go faster, the growth of the data or the advancements in technology and economics. It's really driven the market into this bifurcated storage approach, where on one side you have fast, and on the other side you have cheap. And all data tends to be going in one direction or the other. Oftentimes the cheap at this point is solid state storage. Sometimes this is even out in the cloud. But what we did at Actifio instead is we said, let's understand why we have this growth. And so when we did some analysis, we found that most data can be categorized into one of two buckets. Either prod data, which is your production data, it's just what you think it is. It's the data that you run your business on. Or copies. That's copies of your production data. They're used for a variety of reasons. So once we saw this pattern, we said, you know, I wonder if we can address this a little bit more intelligently. So the next question we asked was, now that we know where the data growth is coming from, why is it happening? So to understand that, we had to dig a little bit deeper. And it starts out with applications in your data center. Each application has some amount of storage associated with it. For the sake of conversation, it makes no difference whether this storage is SAN or NAS or local storage. It doesn't matter if this is in the cloud or running local. You have some application and it has some data. And what's happening is copies are being made for multiple reasons into multiple places of all of this data. On the one side, you have backups. Backups, of course, are making copies of the data for recovery in the event of loss or corruption or mistakes or bugs, etc. You also have snapshots. And snapshots have some similarities to backups and some differences. We'll talk through those. You also have copies being made for disaster recovery or business continuity purposes. This is getting your data somewhere else so that if you have a site disaster, you can still recover from that. And then finally, you have copies that are being made for testing and or development. Sometimes this is for analytics, advanced reporting as well. And all of these different copies are being made with different tool sets. So if you look under backups, you have your traditional backup software, of course. Sometimes you have uh, native tools, and these tools would be uh, database dumps, for example, uh, going some places. You have uh, application layer extracts, and all your typical uh, vendors are in this space. You have your, your net backups and your Avamars, and uh, you have your IBM Spectrum Protects. You also have some newer players over here. You have your rubrics and cohesities, for example. In the, the next column here, you have your snapshots, and snapshots most often are being created by your storage. They're storage array snapshots. Sometimes these are being created in the cloud if you're working with cloud workloads. And other times these can even be things like uh, database snapshots, for example. And snapshots are being taken because the backups don't always meet all of the needs uh, for why you'd want a copy of your data. Most specifically, backups tend to have higher RTOs and RPOs. They take longer, and they take longer because you're making a full copy of that data, and you have storage allocated to that backup product or products in your environment. Snapshots, on the other hand, snapshots are very quick. They have a much shorter RTO and a much shorter RPO because they don't have the data movement involved. They consume storage. They tend to consume less storage because they're capturing just the deltas. The problem, of course, is Neither one is a replacement for the other. One gives you low RTO and RPO, but no resilience to recover in the event of a, a true disaster. 
um, especially a storage disaster, for example. The other is a full independent copy. It truly is a backup, but you have the, the poor recovery times and, and limited accessibility of what you can do with them. Now, on top of that, people replicate their data to get it off site. And sometimes this is storage replication. Other times this is database replication. This can be application layer replication, but in one way or another, data is getting to another location in order to be used for that offsite recovery. And of course, that consumes storage as well. Finally, you have your test and development copies. These are usually manually created, oftentimes leveraging some of the tools in our other categories here, consuming storage, of course, and when you look at all of these, they tend to be fairly siloed off from each other. Now, more recently, we've seen gaps or blending of this line, if you will, where some of the products are trying to do some of the things that the other categories do and vice versa. But what you still have is a product with a home base in a particular silo trying to expand out. So it tends to be better at one thing than it is at all the others. So at Actifio, we said, if we could just address this at a little bit of a higher level, if we could inject ourselves here and address this with a unified approach for all of the different reasons people make copies of data, we could really start to address the storage explosion. And so what we created was we created a solution that really does a couple of things. One, it makes what we call a golden copy. This is a copy on dedicated storage assigned to the Actifio solution. This golden copy is copied from the source. I'm going to cover in another series, another uh, video, how that process works in more detail. Second thing it does is it maintains it. And the way that it maintains it is with deltas. It's an incremental forever refresh from that source into the Actifio copy. That allows us tremendous scale, right? It gives us these two things together, give us characteristics of both the backup and the snapshot drivers behind making copies. It has the RTO and the RPO of the snapshot because it's incremental forever efficient capture. It has the resiliency, the full copy recovery of that backup copy, unlike snapshots, because it is a full independent copy. This copy is also in a usable format. And what that means is your, time, your recovery times, not just your recovery points, but the RTOs, can be like snapshots in that the copy in here can be used immediately. You can recover, especially take a look at a difficult data set like a large database. You can bring a whole database online in, in moments from a copy like this because it's already in the right format, not in a backup format. On the other hand, this can be administered, managed at the application layer. You're not managing LUNs like you are in snapshots. You're doing it at the application layer. So again, more characteristics, more similar to backup. A little bit of the best of both worlds uh, happening there. Now, when you put this all together, the result is you have a solution that allows you to consolidate tools. Instead of having separate tools for every type of copy, you now can have one. It also consolidates your storage footprint. So it drives a lot of efficiency and really starts to solve the copy data problem and the storage explosion. Now, in our next two editions, we're going to address how Actifio handles under the covers all of this storage management and delivers this kinds of performance. And we're also going to cover how does Actifio integrate with the application layer? How does it do that incremental forever capture? How does it make it so simple to get your data back and use it for all of the different use cases that you want? Tune in for those and thanks for your attention.